All right, what's up, YouTube Target Individual? Michael Moore. Come back with another video today on organized harassment, electronic harassment, gang stalking, no touch torture, uh, voice of God weapon, uh, Satan's army, uh, you know, all these different tactics. Anyhow, today I'm going to be reading from. Uh, uh, Project Soul Catcher by Robert Duncan. All right, this is volume two. All right, so these are the side notes. These are the side notes of uh, this is on uh, page 140. So it reads side notes, right? And these uh, testimony of an maturing candidate, a programmed assassin. In, in the making, all right. So it says they forced me to read the Bible and Revelations in particular. It was obvious that they were trying to force a religion on me, all right. They made constant references to Judgment Day and fallen angels. I see why the Department of Defense called these voice of God uh, weapons. And if you were target, uh, what you would notice is you get a lot of this uh, people talking of fallen angels and all this different stuff. That's because they've been tricked. They've been tricked by this technology to believe so, you know. And uh, that's that's fine. You can call them whatever you want to call them, but I'm gonna call them perpetrators, agents, okay, because this is what they are. These are, uh, this is a program that they're running on, on the population, okay? So, you know, it's so mystical that you will believe that, uh, you know, it's these fallen angels and all that stuff. And that's the whole mockery uh, to God's word, period, by using all of his uh actual events you know and turning it into these weapons and stuff but anyhow they tried to give me a jesus complex uh persecution all right and that's what they do they persecuting us day and night all right uh they tried to make me believe that i was a prophet they tried every technique to turn me into a Manchurian candidate to political women to attack political and military targets in the United States. Okay, so they want they want to turn him into a Manchurian candidate. I don't know if y'all ever watched that movie, but it's a good movie. It's got a I think it's Denzel Washington in there, and it's a, the other guy. But it's uh, like a 1990s type movie, maybe early 2000s. But it's a good movie. And that explains a lot of this technology, too. So when they make these movies like that, they didn't just make that movie and just pull it out. They, you know, they didn't just pull it out there and there. They really know about this technology and they making movies off of the stuff. All right. That's like uh, there's also played in. Uh, these are gang stalker type movies. So you got Manchurian Candidate. You got the movie Hurricane where uh, Denzel was in a room. They put him in solita uh, solitary confinement and he was in there talking to himself. That's just how V2K people are. I just got finished mentioning that yesterday. Uh, then uh, he played another movie called Falling. And it's about this demonic being that be jumping bodies. That's what, uh, like with the hired man and the handlers, and I be saying they be jumping into other people's bodies that's close to you, they really be doing it. And that's another movie that's basically talking about gang stalking, but people don't see it because it's, it's portrayed as a demonic movie. This stuff is demonic, all right? And he played another movie called Sunrise or Sunset, something like that, but he played a police officer. And what I noticed about that that refers to gang stalking 
he was a police officer going into this woman's house and he was he was actually he was carrying on an affair with the woman and the uh, husband and the, the the woman that he was screwing her and her husband were at odds and they was fighting a lot but see that's the same way as gang stalking what they do with the women is if it's a woman in that house that they want to get it they will make their woman and the husband uh they will be mind controlling that woman or that man, whoever they want out that house, they'll be mind controlling everybody in the house until they can isolate that woman. And the police do this. They'll be coming in and, and screwing the woman, all right, uh, and pimping them out. So, you know, you, you might get a decent conversation out of that woman, but that woman is not really at home because they drug them up uh, and they uh, mess their mind up so bad to where you think that's the actual person it's just it's not them you know they they mind don't been it's through and then they turn them into uh you know prostitutes and you know just whatever they want to turn them into you know you know but this is how this is another movie that denzel playing so he playing a lot of movies this uh like gang stalking even like uh training day that's another movie he played the police and he was bringing that bullsh bull crap to the hood, and then the hood turned on him. But that's exactly how the police is. Like when it comes to like all these different gang stuff and stuff, the police get it there. They be the main ones with the stingray devices, and uh, you know the the criminal the criminal organization as far as the gangs will link up with the police, and they'll start terrorizing the regular uh, citizens through this gang stuff and stuff. And it's all about a, a for money game because they take out, you know, they can recruit people to the game and then kill them out the game. And then a family profit through it. And it just looked like gang activity. But what it really is, is they were just put in to be killed anyway for the gain of, uh, for financial gain. It's like a, it's like a big rocketeering thing. Anyhow. Uh, Denzel, he know a lot. All these different celebrities, they be they be sold out, wicked ass, demonic ass people. They know about this stuff. These celebrities and these uh rap artists, all of that, you know, they know about it. You know, you can hear it in their songs. You can hear it in they watch their movies. You know, you have to have an eye to see it, but I can see it and I can hear it, all of it. Uh, when I refused, they turned suicidal hypnosis and suggested to dip, uh, dispose of me. See, this is what I'm talking about. So they will give you suicidal hypnosis to make you uh, think about killing yourself. You know, it's a police officer who just killed themselves too, and said they said that it was a uh, because he got tired of seeing. Uh, Black people get killed, man. Somebody probably turned this technology on him in that in that police force, or it just could be like somebody who has it in the community, and uh, you know, they just want to get rid of him. Uh, another guy who in the uh, he's in uh the fame or you know uh movies and uh television. What's his name? Uh. Bryson, Bryson Gray, he played on, I think he played on uh, Power or something like that. He's like a little, one of the main stars on Power. I think it's Power. It Maybe another show. Bryson just had this mental episode where his wife called and said he was uh, whooping up on her. Same type of stuff, what I'm saying. That Satan program to get rid of the, uh, the male, you know. You know, and then they can get hold to that woman, and you know he goes to jail, and eventually what he has to do to uh, get back into the world is to sell all the way out, all right? So they'll turn him into uh, an agent. Anyway, what was I at? Oh yeah, when I refused, they turned suicidal hypnosis and suggestions to deposit to depo uh, dispose of me. 
All right, luckily I was smart enough to know their game. If a person says anything like I just told you to I just told you to local authorities, they would get locked up. Exactly. These people don't be getting locked up because they working with the police and stuff. I got hold of one of the CIA's original project documents dating back to 1954. The clue that, oh, wait a minute, that clued me in on how they dispose of people that they use to manipulate U.S. and world politics. They told me that they killed Kennedy this way. They told me that they were uh, they would crash the financial market in order to rob the world while the people focus on terrorism. All right. So is this this stuff that's going on right now? Because uh, of COVID, COVID-19, whether you believe it or not, it has crashed the financial market of the whole world. And most likely some people like they talk about in this book is behind this. All right. But it is difficult to believe anything that they told me. They were right about the financial market collapse two years before it happened. See what I'm saying? A uh, few names are mentioned in this book to protect the innocent. The document to which this person is referring to is called Project Artichoke. So you go look that up yourself. It's a document. It's called Project Artichoke. All right. Uh, he told our researchers that targets names whom he was being programmed to assassinate. They were active military and political figures. The original document for Project Artichoke said that they could kill any political figure in America or in other countries, but it did not say the high ranking general could be targeted. The mind programmers seem to have derived uh, from their original directive since 1953 or a new type of uh, cup of tea, cup of tea in, is in the works. I don't really know how to say that word, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Uh, several of our interviewees said that they would grab on the Day of Atonement, October the 29th or October the 31st, which is a satanic holiday. This to play. This too plays into the satanic cult script. All right. Now, right here. On uh, the next page, it goes into the Watchers. All right, this is the uh, bold print at the top of the page, letting you know what we're going to be talking about. So Watchers, in parentheses, Fallen Angels, uh, Illegal Surveillance, and Manipulation. All right, so this is what, the, what the, you always hear these TIs to be talking about, the Fallen Angels and all this, just because they don't ran this program script it's a script it's, that's why all of us we, all of us TIs we always have the same similar type of uh, incidents and inf information to tell because they running this on us it's the same stuff on all of us alright so the mind hackers often call themselves watchers the watchers are a group of fallen angels told of in biblical uh, apocrypha who Met, made it with mortal women, giving rise to a race of hybrid hybrids known as the Nephilim, who are also mentioned in Genesis 6 and 4. The watchers appear in biblical apocrypha in the first and second book of Enoch and Jubilee. The world, the word, uh, uh, what is this? Gargio, gargory. I don't know how to say this anyhow, but it says it's derived from 
the Salvanic second book of Enoch. According to the book of Enoch, the watchers numbered a total of 200, but only their leaders are named. And they were in all 200 who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual, uh, what is this, uh, imprecation or something like that, upon it. So this is talking about the book of Enoch. So they using all these scripts. They using all these scripts, and they putting it to these weapons, and then they playing mind games with people. That's all it is. That's why you always hear, like I just got finished saying these targets, they be saying, it's the fallen angels, you know, and uh, uh, all this stuff, you know, which, hey, man, if that's the way you feel about it. That's how you feel about it. And, you know, because you hear me, I say that it's Satan children, and that's what I really believe, you know. And uh, uh, let's see. This is a side note it says re uh, re research interviewee. What struck a chord with our interviews is that we tag several targets to ask their handler uh, how many psychic uh, remote viewers there were in their organization. Three of them were told 200, a reference to biblical apocrypha, but obviously untrue so they want to tell them that it's 200 uh uh psychic remote viewers in their group basically referring to the 200 fallen angels see what i'm saying it's like it's like when you get a, a lot of people a lot of these groups they'll say they're the 144,000, all that shit, right and this is from based off of this type of mess right here it's all this is same thing, you know. But then when you examine, you when you really look at it and examine a lot of these the people who claim that, they just like this, just like in this book. All right, they come off as uh, uh you, know, you know, it's like a wolf in sheep clothing, you know. They they fake it and then act like. They they not this and that and the third, but if you ever if you ever uh, been around gang stalkers, you know that uh, they are gang stalkers too. So they got the same type of attitude, the same type of you know. It's the spirit. It's the same spirit as a gang stalker in them. All right, and you will see it in the way that they carry themselves and the things that they do. They try to put on this front and make you think that they are sheep. You know, like. When I come on here, I'm not going to just act like I'm just, you know, I'm be me. You see what I'm saying? So if you hear, well, who you cussing? It? Stuff like that. Because I'm being real. I'm being me. All right? I'm not going to sit here and act like, uh, you know, that God don't know, I swear. You know what I mean? I'm mad as hell knowing that I'm a target individual. I'm mad as hell. And, you know, I'm mad to the point to where, you know, you know what I mean? It it, it, it gets you there, it gets you there, you know, and you, you can't do nothing about it because if you do, you're just going to add to the pile of people that they don't took out of here. So you just got to hold on and keep hanging on, you know, and pray about it and ask God, you know, to get something done about this, you know. But anyhow, uh. Gabriel, literally a strong man of God, is an angel who serves as a messenger from God. He first appeared in the book of Daniel and the Hebrew Bible. All right. Islam father, a father believes he was the medium through whom God revealed to Quran, uh, the Quran to Muhammad. And that he sent a message to most prophets, if not all, revealing their obligations. 
He is called the chief of the four uh, favorable favored angels and the spirit of truth. And in some views, Gabriel is the same as the Holy Spirit. The big three warning religions, Christian, Hebrew, Muslim, are not the only ones who have a messenger from God. Even the Romans and Greek had uh, Hermione and Mercury. And if I'm saying this stuff wrong, I apologize. My mind just kind of like, uh, anytime I try to do like a read on here, I get this like a uh, brain fog, you know, but just know I'm trying. <laughs> Additionally, in Catholicism, Gabriel is the patron saint of messengers, those who work for broadcasting and telecommunications such as radio and television, remote singing, uh, and postal workers. Michael's function is to open the gates of justice to the just. It is also said that a that at the resurrection, Gabriel will sound the trumpet at which the graves will open and the dead will rise. Okay, this is just basically just going into how they use and all these different uh, things out of the Bible. They making a mockery. They just doing a whole little mockery, you know? And uh this is what they this is what they've been doing here. That's why people be thinking uh they hear the voice of God because they don't these demons, man, these devilish ass people don't took the Bible and twisted it and turned it to what they want it to be. All right. Let me see if I can find something else good in here. Uh. Oh, so they talking about the Russians got their own system too. The Russians got one called Linda. Like we got Satan and they got Linda. Uh, Lida, it's called L I D A machine, uh, uh, causes excessive sleep through radio frequency tra transmission. Okay, so the Russians got their own little stuff over there, they're using on they uh, on they uh, people too, and all, all the countries do. But it's strange to me that. Uh, this Satan Satan devices used right here in America, and everyone else is picking it up all the way around the globe, and they using it also. They may give it a different name, you know, because there's different religions in different countries. All right, so but it's all still uh, a part of a new world order, and. They trying to bring everything under like a one religious system, and that system, I'm saying. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find some good stuff for y'all to uh for y'all to hear. Oh yeah. That ESP stuff is uh extra sensory uh it's uh, extra sensory. I tell you what, let's just read into it. All right, so this is about examples of neurological methods. All right, it says uh, obviously only suffocating can be simulated with remote rendition. This is different than choking. 
the method is done in two ways as described by hundreds of subjects and ESP. Uh, and if you don't know what ESP is, look it up. It's like extra sensory. Uh, uh, you know, it's like you got different senses. That's like I told y'all that I'll be having those uh, visions of stuff and it'll happen uh, two or three months later. Or I, I can do like a uh, remote viewing. And I don't know if they are using the satellites to put that in my head or I'm doing it on my own. But it always happens when I'm asleep. And uh, sometimes during the day, like I close my eyes for like a brief second and I can see something like it'd be like somebody's face. Like I just seen like this dude. I actually drew that dude. I don't know if I put it on my other channel. But I drew this dude, man. This dude right here. I don't know who the fuck he is, you know. But it looks a little a little petty or whatever, but that was the best I can do. But it was this dude right here. And he was smoking a cigarette. And uh, he had these real big lips, real big old lips. And, he, and these was, that was a not sunglasses. Those are clear glasses. And he had like a toboggan with some dreadlocks hanging. Uh, I can believe it. I can believe it. You know, uh, But, you know, what I'm saying is they're using these different scripts from these different uh, uh, biblical uh, historic history events, and they bringing it to, uh, you know, people's minds now and running these programs on them without them knowing. So, uh, what was I at? Oh, yeah, in ESP. Uh, neurological cloning the attacker only needs to hold their breath and the feeling of suffocating will replicate onto the uh, target's mind all right so i know actually know that this that they do this because i was dating a girl who i know was a target but i didn't know she was a target at the time but i know she's a target now and she called me one day while i was at work she was talking about how she couldn't breathe and i'm like what are you talking about you can't breathe this is what it is. It's like uh, if you ever watch uh, Star Wars where Darth Vader can choke somebody out and he ain't even got to touch them. But he just, you know, he like he choking them out because uh, yeah. They are uh, 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 they're tied to your mind. Like I tell you, these high minds. So the psychic the psychic warrior can stay like next to you, or they they might can be like. I'm not sure how far of a distance they can be away from you, but I'm pretty sure they can far enough like the next city over. But what they do is they can hold a breath, and what will happen is you will feel that. All right, so instead of uh. You know, it's, it's, they don't even have to be there to make you feel that, that type of attack. So you would think, hold on a minute. You, would, you know, you just can't breathe and something is wrong with you. But what it is, is you get no sensory feelings from that uh, psychic warrior that's uh, holding their breath. So you feel what they feel. Like I told y'all, they be doing those damn, uh, it's like a sexual attack on me, you know, while I'm sleeping. And uh, this is how I know this is actually uh, somebody carrying on a sex act, and I feel it. So that person is linked to me, and whoever, you know, that, that uh, couple are making out, and I get the feeling. All right, it's not like a, uh, you know, like some type of rough type thing. It's just like somebody making out and that shit will come to me. And I'm like, wow, for real? So this is how they do. And this is to try to uh, 
get more responses from your mind so they can see how it made you feel. And immediately after that, I would hear the male's voice saying, uh, that's what you want. That's what you want, ain't it? All that old, sh you know, all that old kind of mess, you know, after they, a guy is making it like he over here in my bed while I got my, my uh, wife laying next to me, messing with me down, down, you know, around my butt, you know, but this is how they do. And this is why I say a lot of them, it's like, uh, they, they, you know, they really not right upstairs at all. And I can see why God would come here, you know, why God was seeing uh, his army here to just, just destroy everything because that's the same type of mess that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, all that stuff like that, you know, they, that was, uh, uh, you know, that was the reason why I got wiped out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you can't tell these people that, you know. Anyhow, uh, Oh, yeah, sleep deformation and forced sleep. So using drugs in the detainee's food, all right, loud sounds. That's why you hear me and I make these videos. You hear these dudes that be riding around with these boom boxes, and you can hear it through the video. You see what I'm saying? That's part of the loud sounds. They need to uh, disrupt you and get you all tired out. Uh other forms of 24 hour stressing, all right, and this is part of stress. They want to stress you out. Stress is a killer. Stress can have you to, uh, like, if you have this uh, uh, different type of sexual, like, you might have an STD. We're gonna go into herpes, particularly herpes. All right, so herpes what is is from stress, and if they constantly stressing you out, stressing you out. Yo, you your ass gonna stay broke out. You gonna just be broke out all the time. You know, you ain't gonna be like, what's going on? You know, I'm just broke out all over the place. It's cause of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You can't tell these people to repent. You know what I'm saying? They won't let go of this. It's like they, you know, it's like they don't want to let go of this. It's like it's like a, a, you know, I can see if you was linked to the hive. Put it like this: when it comes to these people who link to this hive mind, and they, and they actual gang stalkers, I don't think they can let go because this thing has so much torture tactics that it can use on them if they don't. That's why I'll be feeling I'll be feeling sad for them, man, because it's like they don't have no choice. It's almost like they just. It's like they got to do this. And I'm like, why you got to, like, you don't see that you need to stop this. They keep doing, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. You, you can't, you know, you know, even at, I'm just going to give you an example with me. When I, when I wasn't aware of the things that I was doing and I started realizing, I was like, man, you, dude, you know, even before this happened, I started realizing that I was messing up before uh, I got on V2K and all this stuff, I started maturing. It started growing in the mind. I was like, man, I don't live like that no more. You know, I stopped drinking. And, uh, you know, I, I started slowing down on stuff. And, uh, per, you know, with this, if they got this this mind control technology, like they got a, 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 it's almost like a cell phone to them. You know how every day a person, they you, you catch people, they you, they, they about lose their mind if they don't have their cell phone. Like they leave their cell phone at home. And they go to work without it. Same different with them. They just gotta do this. It's like it's like they don't have nothing else to do. They just want to keep doing this, keep doing this, you know. And I just don't understand that. But uh, let's get back into this. Uh, other forms of twenty-four hour stressing. Yeah, like I said, uh, it says uh, or simply poking that it's time need to wake up. Every few minutes can be effective. And they do this. They literally, uh, while you in the bed, they give you these little stingy feelings. You know, they do this to my son. He's only one year old. I know they do it to him. Like, I've been uh, leaving my recorder on at nighttime, so I'm going to get a lot of good evidence on that. But they, if they can't get me to wake up through uh, poking me around, because I, I block out that energy and... uh.
Yeah. They uh they'll start messing with the kids and stuff to get them to wake you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if they can't wake you up themselves, they'll mess with the kids to get you get the uh, kid to wake you up. So they gotta have somebody around you to wake you up. Anyway, that's this is about sleep deformation. Anyway, uh uh use roughly five days without sleep then force the detainee to sleep two straight days and they do that like during my regular work week they'll try to make it so i don't get no rest all right and then uh toward the end of the week they'll try to make me be so sleepy that i won't hear my alarm clock you know like there's uh had me up all night, almost up until the time for me to get up, and then they'll drop you into a uh, a sleep state and make you go to sleep, and then it's it's a way to try to uh, mess up your finances because they know you got to go to work and keep your bills paid. So they want you to be homeless. They want you to be in shambles. They want you to be uh, come running to them for something, you know, because that's what that's what the gang stalkers do. They they be so. Uh, afflicted by this stuff so they just go running to them it's like i'm gonna do all this to you until you just come running to me and that's why these people think that this is god they think this guy because they it does so much to them and then it, it once they uh you know once they give up it it, it 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 pacifies them and babies them and make them think you know they they are taken care of and give them a false sense of belonging and make them think that oh you know this is God's doing. This is this is the devil doing this. All right, that's what this is. All right, the devil is all through the earth. You see what I'm saying? Anyhow, uh, matter of fact, let's go into all of these steps. While I'm, I ain't even gonna have step with it, I'm gonna go right to number one. All right, so this is no touch torture. All right, so it says, "I'm not touching you." Is a common childhood taunt. You know how they say, I'm not touching you. Little kid, like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. And you, when you look, they hide their hands. And this is what they doing. This is the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, I can believe they do that. They do that. They do it to uh they do it to a little kids, elderly people. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's is 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 they get something out of it. I don't know what it is that they get out of it, but they definitely get something out of it, you know, because why else do it? it you know, maybe they don't. Maybe they just evil as hell, you know, but they do it. They they don't care. They just continue and continue. Anyhow, uh, this is page 165 on Project Soul Catcher, right? Uh, it says this is no touch torture. So this is how a little kid come. And they say, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. And they hide their hands. That's the same thing. You can't see them. You can't see the hands. You, you just know something's happening. Uh, it says, there are two tricks for each uh, neurological torture. Record pain and bi-directional induced pain. That's what I just got finished saying. So bi-directional. Bi means two-way. All right? Directional induced pain so like i told you the psychic warrior can be next door and they can be carrying on the sex act and by them being linked to me with my brain whatever they that uh if it's a dude or woman getting screwed around i feel it while i'm laying in my fucking bed all right so this is how they get out this is what they be doing all right uh we will study the uh, pre-recorded pains, pre-recorded pains in the session on the Satan weapon system later. Satan weapon system. The bi-directional pains are shared by both the attacker and the target. See what I'm saying? So if the attacker is getting receiving pain, right? The target will feel that same pain. It's like I told you, I feel the barrage of punches. Like somebody just Ran up in here and just jumped on me like boom, 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 boom. Just started beating on me. That's not what see what happened is they probably caught somebody else or uh, 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 one of these psychic warriors and they beat on them. Okay. 
and then you get the feeling of it and they pre-record this stuff so let's say if they catch a real live target and uh they jump them when they jump them that pain that that target feel gets downloaded to the supercomputer and it goes into a data bank about pain and when they get mad when they get mad at a target you know they can send that stuff to that target and make it seem like uh you know you just got attacked and that's why people be thinking that ghosts and stuff beating up on them yeah yeah it is the show won't they ain't gonna be able to lie about nothing <laughs> You know what I mean? It's the crazy part about it because they try to act like, you know, they getting away with this shit because don't know they think nobody don't see them. They think they hiding. No, dog, you ain't hiding. If I can see you and I can't see you, literally, I'm a human. You best believe God know what you're doing. God know everything. You feel me? So you can't sit here and say, my name, my name is Michael Moore, and I'm a, I'm a regular ass human being. And I can figure this stuff out along with all these other targets to figure this stuff out. So we can figure it out. God sent us here. And you best believe that he know. Yeah, yeah, they been caught. <laughs> they been caught a long time ago. They just don't know it yet, but they're going to find out. Just like they ran that mind game on us. And they think they getting away with something. They always talk about in the scriptures how... Uh, their imaginations is going to be turned against them. So they imagining all this stuff, making all this little torture tactics to do to people, just all kind of little, little nasty mess. You know, they've been thinking of how to do this and how to do that. They making war. They going to war with people that don't even know they're in a war. You know, a lot of targets don't even know they at war. They just know it's something that's happening. You is at war and they are bringing war to you. They are attacking you. Okay. Uh, what was I at? Oh, yeah. By, uh, yeah, the bidirectional pains are shared by both the attacker and the target. Example, if the attacker pulls out, out a chest hair, both cybernetically high minds will experience the pain. See what I'm saying about this high mind? So they, they trying to uh, put you into the high mind. All right, this is why they always trying to get you to go negative. They want they give you different choice references and avenues to go, and uh, they want you to start picking the thought of the high man route. So they want you to pick out what they want you to pick out. They don't want you to think your normal, uh, the way you would normally think. All right, so this is why they always poking at you and pestering you to get you to response and, and not think about it. They want you to respond what they want you to do. See? All right, so what was that? Yeah, okay. It says, however, the in, this induces a trauma in the target and not the attacker. Oh, so the attacker don't even feel that, you know, it, it doesn't get the trauma. But the target gets the trauma. And they need that trauma to break your mind. It's trauma-based mind control. So uh, uh, by them doing all these different rape tactics and beating up, beating you up and make, you know, cooking your organs and hitting you with direct injury, that's trauma-based. And that's how they go. Uh, that's how they uh, keep doing it to you, till you break. And then you, they are able to mind control you better. That's why I say half of the man, they don't even know no better because they've been beat up so much with this stuff. They just give up. They will just give up. They just give in to it. Uh, let's see. This works psychologically. A driver of a car doesn't get car sick, but the passenger do. Or a rapist and the victim experience the same act, but the one who isn't in control gets physiological drama, right? The victim does. The rapist, it don't bother him because that's what he do. Uh, microwave and sound weapons are considered no-touch uh, torture by some people. No, they're considered no-touch by some people. 
No touch torture serves many purposes over traditional uh, uh, physical only torture. It appears less harsh to observers and in the public eye. This is very untrue, but the person being tortured uh, because of this uh, appearance, they believe it is bypassing many uh, torture treaties and U.S. laws. Yeah, they because they like you hear them there say that electromagnetic waves are harmless. That's a damn lie. All you got to do is hike it up. Yeah, right. Uh, there's evidence though. <laughs> uh, they like to hike it up. You know, all they got to do is hike it up. If they hike up, if they hike up the uh, the feelings, the uh, the uh, the uh, you know the percentage, just like a volume knob, you can have less volume to maximum volume. Same way with uh, the harshness of the electromagnetic wave frequency. So they can turn it all the way up. They can turn it up and, and cook you to death if they wanted to, right? Uh, just like you was in the microwave. And there are cases of this happening uh, in other places in the world. Let's see. But see, they don't want to turn it up like that because they need it to look as natural as possible. They don't want it to look like you just, you know, dying. somebody just microwave that dude. You know, they want it to look like you overheated, uh, you know, had a heart attack. They need to make it to look as natural as possible, so so they can get away with it. So they they want to try to think they getting away. With every all this is think they getting away with some shit, all right? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no touch torture offers a good level of denial since it leaves no marks. <laughs> you see, see what I'm saying? On the body, except those that uh, those they trick into self-inducing. All right, self-induction of injury is really criminal manipulation of the circuits of the target's mind. So this is like suicide: get you to kill yourself, cut yourself, uh, you know, drive your car off a bridge, jump off the bridge, any of those type of things. Uh, most assume torture is only used for interrogation and war. This isn't true. No touch torture is more commonly used against the public and not enemies. So why are they not using it on their enemies? That's another thing that I noticed too. Like they be claiming that you know they trying to study these weapons to use it on the next country and to use it on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Anyhow, what they want to do is they want to use this. Uh, they want to use this stuff and basically. Uh, uh, yeah, they basically want to. Uh, they want to use this stuff and try to like yeah they they want they want to try to uh they want to try to like uh tell you that they use maybe they developing this weapon to use on the other place but then you read about the other countries they using the weapons on their people too so why come it's like why are we the enemies? You know what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like. We're the enemies. They they making war with us. They not making war with each other. Because if that was the case, then you would hear about all these different uh, military uh, 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 people that's in the military going crazy, and you know it'd be on a large scale. It'd be you know they getting hit with sonic weapons, and you know all, you don't hear none of that coming from them. And that's their TI, you know, okay? But anything else, like on a large scale, where they just turn their weapons on each other, you don't hear none of that. You don't hear none of that. Uh, where is that? Self induction of uh, injury is. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, okay. It says it helps. Uh, it helps to give torturers their practices, test public belief systems, study for revenge, to prevent or use of other countries. Wait a minute, I, I jumped down too far. Let's start off. It said it helps give torturers their practices, test public belief systems, study post traumatic stress disorder by inducing it and giving ingenious ways for revenge to prevent or use on other countries. All right. No touch torture uh, still includes the same list as physical torture, stress, uh, positions, uh, greatest fears, drowning, fire, heights, poison, threats to loved ones, uh, pain to sensitive body parts, uh, throat, groins, eyes, ears, head, and heart. All right. Offensive images, sounds, tensionitis, uh, rock music, etc. Uh, mail orders, uh, tastes, sensation, uh, taste, sensation, uh, threats, bearables and blackmail, etc. And they do all of this, you know, and they'll try to come off. You know, like I said, a lot of these people that use this shit, they'll try to come off as uh biblical scholars and you know they working with God and all that shit. God ain't told y'all ass to be doing all this to people. You feel me? It just ain't it ain't it's not that. You can't try to put uh uh you know, they try to mix uh, good stuff with the bad stuff and old stuff with the new stuff. All this, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Just don't. Uh, all right, so these are some of the, to the torture tactics. I right, said stress positions. Forcing a detained E to hold a com uncomfortable position for a long time. All right, and you a detainee when you a target individual. You are a detainee in your own house, uh, your apartment, wherever you live at, uh, whoever house you live in. This is what you is a detainee. All right. It said examples of neurological methods. I was forced to scratch my arm out to avoid severe pain throughout my entire nervous system, like it was on fire by being electrocuted. When the pain from muscles for muscle fatigue was too great, I would endure the electric shock pain and rest my arms. Then the cycle would repent, would repeat for about 24 hours or longer. 24 hours or longer, you gotta hold your arm out because some jackass on the other end of it. Uh, trying to punish you for whatever reason they want to punish you for because they just psycho anyway. They just, you know, they just need a reason to be doing something to you. You know, whatever they say it is, it's, it's their reason and they sick, the demented ass mind. All right. Uh, slap on the face. And I've actually had this one happen. Uh, use an open hand or a book to slap the face. All right. And this is what they do with the psychic, uh, the psychic, uh, psychic warrior. So they can either have that psychic warrior do it, or they can have a, uh, uh, an actual, uh, yeah, they can actually have a. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, they can actually have a. You know, they can actually have like a a, a pre-recorded pain. Uh, feel like somebody slapped you, and they do this to me. They did this to me in my sleep. They made it seem like somebody shot a gun uh, right beside my ear. Rather, they could have been somebody got shot in the head somewhere else. You know, but I heard it. I didn't feel it, but uh, you know, that's what they be trying to do. They be trying to uh, give you brain aneurysms or scare the crap out of you out of your sleep to make you uh, have a heart attack, stuff like that. Uh, it says, uh, 
example of neurological methods i will feel possessed like a puppet i i will slowly slap my face while the words dumbass will come out my mouth it didn't hurt but i had no idea how any technology could do this and they do that they call it the puppet master so they can make you uh you know slap yourself i remember times when i was uh, laying down in a bed and uh this is when i was living with my grandma and my grandma would tell me that my girl you know at the time which was my baby mom said when she came up here man you smacked the girl and i'm like i smacked her she was like yeah you was in her sleep and you reached up and smacked her this wasn't even me now that i know about this stuff it was this shit. you see what i'm saying they, they need to uh, uh, they probably running mind game on her back then. I, matter of fact, I know they was running mind game on her, and uh, she most likely is like all the way through now. But they was uh running that stuff, and that's how they uh create the divide between the two. All right, so they need to create a divide. You know, that's like I told y'all about. I had another another uh, woman that's the mother of my children. Uh, she used to always take a shower in the dark. I'm like, why you in the dark for? You know what I'm saying? And uh, had all the lights on. See, what it was, it wasn't that she was trying to hide herself. She knew that something was happening. You know, it was, it was uh, cause when, when they uh, put you on this voice to skull, they be talking about you in degrading ways whenever you're doing uh, private time, whatever it is. You can be in the bathroom, taking a shower, uh, making love. You know, they like to jump into that situation and start talking about it. So they may jump in there. Yeah. Uh, see what I'm saying? Uh, they'll turn around and uh, jump in your head and start talking about what you're doing. You know, they'll be like, yeah. Uh, you know, let's say you're making out, right? And they'll say, oh, you nasty ass, you know, or something like that. Uh, uh, try to talk about the woman's body or your penis or, you know, uh, you know, you name it. But they think this is guy stuff right here. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's not, bro. That's the devil, period. You feel me? You be in the shower, you know, they'll be talking about, uh, Yeah, yeah. They 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 you be in the shower and they'll be in there talking about, you know, whatever body parts and limbs on your body, they'll be talking about it. They grade you, uh, you know, uh you go to brush your teeth, yeah, stinking breath ass, you know, something like that. You hear that and I'm like, I'm but I'm brushing my teeth, you know what I mean? So this is what they do, and it's like it's always something uh uh Mental jabbing you, mental jabbing you, mental jabbing you, mental jabbing you, right? All right. Uh, and that's just part of the torture. Uh, pressure points. Uh, push on the eyeball of the detainee. Kicking them in the groin. Putting their head in a vice. Putting pressure on their chest. Grabbing their throat and choking them. Putting... Uh, Putting objects deep into their ear, hitting the drum. Examples. I want the physiological abusive voices to, to stop so badly that I pushed a Q-tip into my ears thinking that there was a microchip in them and punctured both of my eardrums. Uh, An other interviewee, some of the tortures that I had to Endure felt like someone kicking me in the balls, choking me, and my teeth and ears would hurt for no reason, and the doctors could find uh, couldn't find out. Headaches were coming and were and would come and go. All right, doing stuff like that. All right, now electro shop attacking electrodes to sensitive. You hear that? You hear him shoot down the road right there? That's noise campaign. <laughs> they do that all the time. They got to rev up their motor when I'm trying to do a video or they'll come with the boom box and they uh, turn it like them 12 subwoofers, 
12, uh, 12 inch sub whistle, uh, the, uh, you know what I'm talking about, bass, they'll come and they'll turn that up and make it to where I have to scream in the video. Uh, 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 attaching the electrodes to sensitive body parts with mild and harsh electrical shock, even stopping the heart of the victim for a near-death experience and then restarting the heart. See what I'm saying? This all this stuff is torture stuff. This what they really need. This what they need right here. They need this shit to go to hell with them. All of it. So, so the devil can. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, let's get into this sexual humiliation uh, and rape. This is number fourteen. It says use a clean baton or other instrument to penetrate the detainee, male or female, uh, simulating uh, simultaneously comment with degrading options of their body, like I just said, and uh, this will increase the trauma. Example, a neurological method. There is an interview later in the book to describe it, and I think I, uh, uh, Talked about that, and it says uh, discretion of religious items. If the detainee is religious or uh, a patriot, oh, desecrate. That's it. Desecrate of religious items. Desecrate those symbols in front of the detainee to increase feelings of filthy. Or invoked anger. This can be done by voice too. So they will come and take your Bible. And throw it across the ground. Or like I told you. This girl came and took this book. And throw it across the ground. You know what I'm saying. Stuff like that. Is to make you mad. So they be looking for anger responses. Or to make you feel filthy. Like they may urinate on something like this. Or you know. Uh. Uh, take your Bible and, and take a piece of it and wipe their butt with it, you know, just stuff like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is satanic ritual abuse. But they would sit here and try to act like it's not, you know what I mean? Like, you, you can't act like this is not, this is exactly what this is, yeah, uh huh, yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's a satanic ritual abuse, period. You know? and uh, But they want to act like they don't know they say it's children. Yeah, you is. <laughs> you say it's children, bro. You know what I'm saying? You using electromagnetic wave frequencies to torture people and uh, all this different stuff. You are the Satan children that the scripture is talking about. It ain't talking about us. If anything, you know, we're not saints. You know, and I think what when it comes to the the word saint, they got the word saint all wrong. See, a lot of people read the Bible and they think it's just supposed to be all these happy people that saints and they ain't never did nothing wrong and all that. No, just because you don't done something wrong don't mean you're not a saint that the Bible talking about. When they say you're making war on the saints, a saint is somebody who haven't done too much of anything. Okay, so you think about this. If you are a target individual and they use a, a remote neural monitor to mind control on you the majority of your damn life, you is a saint because you ain't did none of it yourself. They did it. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't really do it. But they won't say that. You know, you can't get them You can't get them to uh, understand that part. They just like, uh, uh, it's like they dumbfounded or retarded or something. I mean, if you take a little-ass baby and you hook them up to this, and then you uh, send them through the world to where they have to go through all these different options and reference choices on their own, and they and they start making bad choices and start doing things on, on their own, you created the situation for them. See what I'm saying? They didn't make it for themselves. You and your system did. All right? But they don't get that. They think that it's supposed to be somebody. If you were born in the world... It's no way you're going to live without doing anything. Nobody. Only person that ever did that was Jesus. You know what I mean? So where are you looking for this perfect saint at? There isn't a perfect saint. They don't exist. Okay? 
Let's see. Yeah, you got that right. Be singing and have happy every single day. And I can see, I, I, hey, I was singing every single day, jump up and praise every single day to know that I don't have to deal with this shit no more. Period. Every single day. Think about that. You wake up to V2K every day. You hear bull, bull crap every day. Most of these women, they going to bed next to their man in some nasty bastard somewhere else, uh, penetrating them. Uh, uh, yeah, penetrating them, uh, their uh, body while they trying to sleep with their husband, or vice versa. A grown man got to feel some nasty ass dude uh, doing whatever he doing. Oh yeah, gonna be singing and praising every single day, every single day. All right, hallelujah, every single day. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's another side note. Interviewee, they use me as a spy slave and encounter intelligence to get blackmail on politicians or other people in power in my state. I was also tasked with informing them with names of anyone who spoke badly about the United States or might be good Manchurian candidates. I was in trap. Uh, I was in trapment for these people since I would uh, instigate their conversation. And yeah, they definitely do that. All right. So when you think you have a conversation and uh, the high mind or handler may be watching through your eyes, they will instigate conversation and uh, they'll say things to get emotional responses out of you. Uh, let's see, it says, my handlers said that they would kill my family and torture me again if I didn't, uh, if I did not comply. And I believe that because this is, this is, uh, what I get out of them whenever, uh, whenever, uh, I'm, uh, trying to rest or whatever. And I hear these women screaming. Yeah, military and the police, yeah, they all involved in it. Yeah, they definitely all of them involved. I get this one, like the day of the inauguration, this one police car he said out here, like I'm a threat. The day of our inauguration, I can care less about politics. You feel me? I care less about any of them, okay? Because I know either side, all of them with the crap, both sides, all right? But anyhow, he's sitting out here uh, across the parking lot, I'm going to catch him next because he don't start doing this a lot. And uh, he sat over here, and then when I uh, come out of the house, he go and leave. And then when I come home from work, he's sitting over here. And once I, if I go to looking out the windows and watching him, he'll leave. So they be over there on them stingrays, uh, probably uh, monitoring what you're thinking about to see if you care about them sitting over there. It's, it's a way of, uh, of uh, uh, sensitizing you. To keep sensitizing you, but the police, all of them involved. Like that's how I know they know about the uh, the dream simulations because they're set outside. Like they might pull somebody over right in front of the house and and turn all the lights on, the blue lights on, right, and it make me look because I'm seeing all this flashes. So I go outside and look, and uh, no, I don't go outside and look out my windows, out the blinds, right. And then later on that night when I go to sleep, they'll replay that in my head. And instead of me looking out the poli at the at my window at the police, they'll have all the police standing outside their car. This is my dream simulation. And all of them will be standing up looking at my window, looking up at me in the dream. <laughs> like they knew I was looking at them. So this is how I know that the police be involved in it also, because that's just like saying, Yeah, we knew you was watching us through the window, even though you was peeking. So we're going to replay this in your head later, and we're going to show you us looking at you in your dream because it's a fake dream. Uh, let's see. It says, uh, oh, yeah, they said they're going to kill the people's family. Uh, yeah, this is what they told. They said, my handler said they would kill my family and torture me again. And yeah, that's what they, they, they like to uh 
they like to say, we're gonna, I'm gonna pay somebody to do this and that to you. And uh, you know, like I be telling y'all, they always say, Yeah, your sister dead and all this shit. And they know that pisses me off. And the thing of it is, is like, especially my the one sister in particular, it's really sad because like the whole family, when I was home, I always took care of the girl, you know. And uh what I noticed was she started setting me up and uh she would call me to uh yeah, it does like a sci-fi movie. Uh she would call me to different uh uh areas of town to come to her defense. And I started going to them, you know. I and, you know, I might bring her food and things. And when I get there, she got a house full of, of dudes. And I'm like, all these dudes over here can't nobody buy you no food. You know, so I knew something wrong with her mental, you know, because like why you got all these men around but ain't nobody taking care of you. But what it was is they was like using her house as they little uh, hideout drug spot. And uh, it, this was in a housing project. And uh, once she, uh, I guess she started telling certain people to get away. They just be running mind games on the, on the women. They don't care nothing about the women at all. You know, uh, they'll be like sleeping with them. Like, I'm going to give you an example, man. This example, my sister, right? Okay, this girl got epilepsy. So epilepsy is, uh, you know, people have seizures all the time. And if you look up epilepsy, it has shit to do with your brain waves. So this is how I know that all this targeting when it comes to uh, epilepsy, bipolar, schizophrenia, multiple personality disorder, uh, disorders, uh, uh, all that shit, it's all about these electromagnetic wave frequencies that they be running on folk and then try to make it like they ass crazy. But what it is is they've been using this stuff for years on people, man. All right? But anyhow, I go, uh, I'm at my house. Uh, I was standing in Rossville, Georgia at the time and uh i get a cell phone call from her it's her number but when i pick it up it's some people making out they you know they you know they doing it or whatever and then i hear this dude say uh yeah hold your butt up over here and all this stuff right and i'm like what is going on you know right yeah that's what they want they want you to lose your mind but I, I picks up the phone. And I say, uh, I say hello, you know, like that. And uh, it's a guy. He he's uh, giving out demands uh, in the sex act. And I say, man, what the world? Hang up the phone, you know. So when I asked her about, it, I said, uh, why you called me the other day? I said, uh, I'm doing good. I said, hi. I said, uh, what? Why you call me? Uh, from your phone like that, you know, and uh, I told her what I heard. She said that wasn't me. So this how I know that it's either she was being drugged, you know, because she told me that she came home one day and it was a nigga in her house eating uh, eating her ice cream. Two niggas, a bald head nigga and uh, another dude. Uh, she said he had dreads with some black, crusty, big, dark lips, and uh. Said he was in, they were both in her house, sitting on her couch, eating her food. So when I tell you that they be they be doing this stuff to these women, they go in there and poison their food. And when a woman go to eat, they uh they got that drug or whatever it is in there, or they can just give it to them in the alcohol. If there's a, a if the person drank alcohol, they just give it to them like that. And then once they pass out, they uh use that remote to control them, and they can you, you know you can hear the person be that. The rape, the person that's being raped will actually be responding and saying stuff out their mouth, but it's not them, all right? It's not them saying any of that, any of that stuff. It's this uh, remote monitoring and mind control, mind control making them speak and whatever they saying is uh, gibberish. And uh, even if it sounds like uh, intellectual dialect, it's not them, all right? And uh, they was in there. Uh, basically making out with her, and uh, it's like she didn't even know that happened when I asked her about it. And uh, another thing I noticed, uh, uh, when they get mad at her, they they'll go in there and throw uh, throw stuff all in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they threw fire bombs all in the girl house, 
They didn't want to talk about her having diseases, but all of them over there sleeping with her. You know, she wouldn't have diseases if y'all nasty ass bastards were not over there fucking her. You see what I'm saying? But this is the type of people that we have to deal with when you a target. You know, that's why, uh, you know, they don't take the blame for themselves. They want to put the blame off on somebody else. You see what I'm saying? And uh, threw fireballs all in this girl's house, burnt up her uh, apartment. You know, she a single person, so she got to live, uh, find somewhere else, so she end up being homeless. So I try to get her to my place, both of them. I try to get both of my sisters to come and live with me, you know, and uh, try to take care of them that way. But I didn't know about mind control then. I'm wondering why they, they got up in my house and started talking crazy to me. And I'm like, what wrong with y'all, man, you know? I'm trying to take y'all in. But see, it's this mind control. It needs them to be in a situation to end up in the hands of a handler. So, uh, you know, if, it, if you end up homeless, then they can they can do their little freaky shit to you more easier, you know. And, uh, you know, they, they come off of their lending, they, uh, lending hand, and, and, and what they do is they uh, basically take them to be tortured again, you know. And uh, they don't know it. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they they uh, you know, they take them and put them in another situation where they can be sexually assaulted again, you know, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And that's they that's their main goal with them, you know. If uh, if a woman, it's a woman that they just they want to misuse them as sex objects. That's all it is to them. Uh. But I, I try to take them in, you know, and uh, they like to keep playing that with me right now. Yeah, you know, we killed them. We do doing it. And, and it's sad, you know what I mean? Because it's like I can see them set up to do that to her, too, you know, because they, they set me up. And they, they like to use this. Uh, They put these thoughts in your head because I get mad like I'm getting mad right now about thinking about it. And they'll put these thoughts up. Kill them, you know, kill them, you know, you know, want to go kill them or whatever. And then they'll come back and they'll say, yeah, I'll holler at you. Uh, they'll come on there and they'll say, uh, they'll say, uh, yeah, you, you, you talking about you going to kill me. I ain't talked about nothing. You see what I'm saying? This is how they play. They put this stuff in your head and then they'll come back and they'll say, well, yeah, you, you talked about you going to kill me. You going to do this and that to me. I can see them running that on her. I can see them running that type of game on her. Because she ain't going to figure that out. She ain't going to figure none of this out. But I have. I don't want any one of them. If they ever and one of them come up and say anything I thought about it, and I ain't never told them, I'm going to slap the fuck out of them. I'm going to try to beat their fucking head off. You know, any of them. Okay? And uh, this is how they do. And a couple of them that I had these thoughts about, I don't see them. And they be trying to act all cool. You know, act like they ain't did nothing, you know. But I already know what you did. So there's no need to try to play it off like, you know, you cool with me. I know you're not. You trying to get a scenario out of me and you ain't got it yet. You know, so that's what they that's what they want. They want you to, you know, say if you got weapons and you go get that gun and you go ride over there where they at. They'll be standing outside. You know what I mean? They don't pull that, you know, they'll pull that type of mess. And, uh. Yeah, yeah, they'll they they'll pull that type of mess and try to make it like you know this is your natural thought, and uh, and like they just these superpower as people that just know your thought. They don't know shit. What they know is how they know that they got that high man putting it in your head. That's what they know, you know. Like I'm a uh, when I did carry my weapon, and uh, I would think I had my weapon in me uh, in secrecy, and then I get. A mother would say, uh, hey, I know you got that gun on you. I know you got that gun on you. How you know? I ain't tell you nothing. See what I'm saying? They need to have this type of situation so they can try to kill you, so they can feel uh, justified for what they're doing to you. See what I'm saying? That's why I say I don't have no gun. I just got my hands. You see? I don't need that. I might carry a knife or something like that, but majority of the time, I just have my hands. You know? And at this point, I ain't playing with you, you know what I mean? So I don't want to hear all that old man. I'm mad at getting buck eyed like you wanna run into me. You gonna run into these hands. That's what you're gonna run into. But uh 
that's how they do. You know, they they play these little mind games and then they just try to act like it's your fault. Like they don't have no clue about remote monitoring, but they know what you was thinking about, though. How the fuck you know what I'm thinking about if you don't know nothing about remote monitoring? You see what I'm saying? That's how they do. And uh, excuse me for getting upset right there, but I'll be pretty hot about that. You know, telling me all the time, yeah, we killed her. We killed her. You is a, you, I mean, you got to be a scumbag to even, even let that come out your mouth, you know? And these people, their minds is really demented like that, you know, because it's, uh, they hooked up to, uh, yeah, don't have no weapons. Because, see, they can kill you. The police can kill you. Uh, you know, it, it can be any kind of way you end up getting killed just because you got weapons. You see? Uh, and you have to be calm, too. That's why the scriptures talk about being harmless as a dove. They ass is not harmless as a dove. They can try to say they, they is the one that used the Bible. They can say they harmless as a dove all they want. No, you not. If you use an electromagnetic free, uh, wave frequency to attack people in their head and stinging them in their head and, and uh, sending attacks to their body, you ain't harmless as no dove, dude. You know what I mean? Harmless as a dove mean that you uh, uh, try not to actually put hands on people and you know you uh uh you know you go and fly away you know you go the other way turn the cheek and go the other way that's home that's a dub uh but all this weapon stuff and using their own people you did not home that's a dub at all anyhow yeah yeah they like that yeah, they like that. They love when you get mad. <laughs> they love when you get mad because see, they they keep they uh keep uh what you call it? they keep uh that data, that information in a log, and they know it make you mad, and then they use it against you. You know what I'm saying? They know that make me mad. You know, telling me that you know, uh, putting that in my head about this girl. You know, and it's times where. Like with my sister, like I used to let my daughter go over her house. And she used to be doing the crazy shit. You know, I'm like, uh Yeah, I know the Freemasons know about it. Uh uh. I used to let my daughter spend the night over her house. And uh one day I was in there and I caught her just hit my daughter, hit my daughter in the head with a uh with a ball. And I got mad as hell, man. I said, man, what you know, what's wrong with you? You know, why you hitting that girl like that? You know, that's my that's my child. You know, what's wrong with you? I'm mad. I'm ready to, to uh get on an attack. But see, what it was, they were running game on her then. See, they need to build up these different uh behavior modifications on you. So if they want you to be hitting kids, touching kids, uh, uh anything that'll make a, a person uh go into a rage towards you, they need you to be doing that. All right, so when they get ready to take you out, uh, even if they don't do it, they can get somebody else to do it who don't like or say, say it's a person that don't like a child molester or maybe it's a racist person that don't like black people. This how they do. They have all these, they, they, they all this stuff is just all twisted up into one big nasty ball. So they'll work with racist people. They'll work with murderers. They'll work with real child molesters. They'll work with real rapists. And that's what they'll turn on you when they get you to do what they want you to do, okay? So, say, uh, like she hitting her, hit my child, my child, and then they say, well, we we about ready to get rid of her now. We don't use her how we want to. They'll go and get somebody that don't like a person that hit children, all right? And then that person, you know, he can't do that to, uh, he say he's his wife. Say his wife is annoys him, and, and you know he can't really do that to her. Or, you know, he got hate, a hatred toward women or something like that. He can't really do it to uh, the women that's in his life, but he can do it to a target if they take him and kidnap him, right? So they can take him, kidnap him, and put him somewhere, and then that person can come and do all these uh, evil thoughts and the shit that they really want. Kind of like that movie called The uh, Hostile. The Hostile was like three different hostile movies. And all them uh, people was coming from all over the world to go in there and attack them people. And then people uh, didn't know, you know, they was like, what's going on? You know, and they, 
they had little cards and stuff, and they, they were giving it out, and they had little tattoos on them. They was a part of that group. That's the same thing with gang stalkers. So they'll get the little, the little nasty thought uh, people and bring them in there, and then they'll come in there and attack that woman, and they let all they monster out the cage on that person, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that individual. You see what I'm saying? Because they'll tell them, oh, he's this and he's that. Or she's this and she's that. They might even have video of the shit of what they're accusing you of. But that person, even if they do know, I don't think a lot of them, they just, they do it because they evil. They want to do it. And uh, they'll say, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they jump into... They jump into the people that's around you because they need you to lash out on the wrong person, you know, and uh, that's what make you look crazy. Because when you lash out on that person, you know, while they don't they don't mind control them, they will jump out of them or whatever, you know, and, and, and that person uh, feel, you know, whatever you did to them, if you traumatize them, you might shoot them up or beat them up or, you know, run them over any damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But. They uh they need to, to provoke you. They need to get in your line of sight to provoke you to get you to uh to get a response. But uh like I was saying, uh I wouldn't be surprised, man. And that's how they get down, you know, when it when it comes to uh they keep telling me that about her. You know, they keep telling me, Yeah, we did this too, we did that to her. And and then a lot a lot of the women that they do that to, they don't even be know that they be getting raped. They don't be knowing that. You know, they don't be knowing it because they uh, uh, take that uh, that uh, trauma out, and then it's like it never even happened. You know, and and, and what they'll do is, uh, if they want to, when they want to get rid of them, they'll just uh, isolate them and just do it to them without taking the uh, without taking the pain away and make them feel all of it. And that's what that's uh, uh, the way of uh, exterminating the target so that there's no evidence. Okay, but they nasty ass, they do all this stuff and they think they ass work for God, you know. Excuse my language, but you know what I'm saying? I get infuriated, man. I get so mad just thinking about uh yeah, life don't got crazy. It's sad that life is like this, and, and it's like who wanna live it? You know what I mean? Nobody don't want to live in a world like that, you know. It's like hey man, I'll I'll be like, you know what. Judgment Day in, in, in the end, it sounds good. You know what I mean? It really sounds good considering what you're living in. You know, these people are have completely lost their damn mind, and then they'll try to tell us we crazy. You know what I mean? Like they have completely lost their mind doing all this mess. You know, but anyhow, I'm gonna get on up off here. Uh, I'll check y'all uh probably tomorrow or something. <laughs> this is it, amen. All right, amen. <laughs>